Throughout this election cycle, inflation and abortion have been the biggest issues being talked about on the campaign trail. And Fox 59's Kristen Escal joins us now in studio with what both sides are saying about that here in Indiana. Well, Bereshel, the issues being discussed in Indiana closely match the conversations happening across the country this midterm election year. At the federal level, Republicans are hoping to regain control of the House and Senate. And at the State House, Democrats are trying to break the GOP supermajority. Experts say ultimately it'll all come down to who turns out to vote. Indiana Republicans have largely focused their message on inflation. Senator Mike Braun isn't on the ballot, but has been campaigning for candidates across the state. So I think uh, if we stay on point, uh, talk about the economy, the inflation that we've never had to contend with for at least 40 years, I think it's the pocketbook issues that are going to be important to people this time around. Democrats have made abortion rights a centerpiece of their campaigns, especially here in Indiana, months after state Republican lawmakers passed a near total ban on abortion. Indiana Democratic Party Chairman Mike Schmoll says he hopes what's happening at the State House motivates Hoosier voters. A Republican supermajority, they're in charge of everything while people are really struggling and everything becomes sort of extreme or a culture war or a controversy. The concerns in Indiana are similar to those seen across the nation. A recent poll from News Nation and Decision Desk HQ shows inflation as the top issue for 45 percent of voters nationwide. Abortion ranks second but much further behind, with 17 percent of voters saying it's the most important issue to them. We can sort of look at Google and sort of see what searches they're doing. We know Indiana voters are concerned a lot about crime, they're concerned about the economy, uh, and we do see abortion picking up on there as well. Martin Sweet teaches political science at Purdue University. He points out Republicans have an advantage this year since the GOP is not the party currently in power in Washington. Really in the last 100 years, only three times have we ever seen the party in power maintain seats or, or gain seats in a midterm election. Preliminary data from the Indiana Secretary of State's office shows early voting down this year about 13 percent compared to the last midterm in 2018. Mail-in ballots are still coming in, though, so the state doesn't have a final count just yet on absentee voting. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you.